Hello guys, today let's talk about polymorphic relationships. And I want to tell you one thing that I recently realized how you can use polymorphic relationships, not in a typical way how you name the columns. So in polymorphic relationships documentation of Laravel, in all the types of polymorphics, there's able suffix added. So for example, images table, and there's imageable ID and imageable type. In other example, one to many, for example, we have comments, commentable type and commentable ID. And the whole examples are based on the assumption that able is at the end. But I've never really questioned that and I've never really found the explaining why. Although I didn't dig too deep, I just accepted it as the way it is in Laravel and I was using that all the time like this. Until recently working on my new course about collections, which is, by the way, upcoming in July, so you can subscribe to yearly membership of my courses to get that first. So that was the quick advertisement. But anyway, in one of the open source repository, Astrotomic Open Door Me, I found this in the migration, which creates the two fields with ID and type, but without the suffix of honorable. So if you go to another part of the documentation, which is about migrations, the morphs, go to example, and typical example is taggable again. But apparently, or maybe it's new to me, it's not necessarily able at the end. It's kind of like a convention, but if we take a look at the code, I've tried to reproduce exactly that open door me repository for my collection example, and I've added morphs with owner. By the way, morphs and numeric morphs, it's the same thing. That's actually what happens under the hood if you don't choose UUID. So that's the same thing. And then in the eloquent models, for example, in the model called repository, that by the way has nothing to do with repository design pattern, it's just a repository like a GitHub repository. In here, you don't need to assign ownerable at the end. And the fillable fields should be owner ID and owner type, not ownerable. In this case, it's one too many polymorphic relations. So in other models, for example, repository may belong to a user or to the organization. So in the user model, we have morph many with name of the method owner. Again, not ownerable. And same thing in the organization model, repositories, morph many owner. And for me, it was always kind of a bit hard to read that honorable doesn't sound like a real English word. And I'm kind of spoiled by Laravel that I often read the code like an English sentence. So in the actual controller then where I use those relationships, I can refer to that relationship as repository owner and not repository ownerable. Not sure, maybe it was news only to me and I'm just overstating something share in the comments below. Did you know that you cannot use able or maybe you know the story and will tell me why that suffix is added and who came up with that idea? Perhaps I'm too lazy to Google that out, so let's discuss in the comments. But what I was not lazy about is shooting 33 courses at the moment on my Teachable platform, so I recommend that. And one of the courses is how to structure databases in Laravel. That includes some information about polymorphic relations with examples, so I advise you to take that course or subscribe to the yearly membership of my courses to get all the courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. As I said, the next one will be about Laravel collections and collection chains. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.